Welcome back my merchants. For those who are new here, I'm Brandon, this is Elliot. Together, we're Break and Enter. We're an online vintage design store coming out of Sydney and today we're going to be talking about some of our uh, favourite pieces, both new and old. Um, yeah, just because you guys enjoy the obtain vintage pickups video and so we want to continue off that and show you guys more of what we have part of our curation. Um, before I get into it, I just want to give a shout out to One Away Warehouse for this t-shirt. Always dripping me out in my uniform. Last time I had the black one on, now I've got the white one on. But yeah, one day, hopefully it'll be an official sponsorship. Want to go first? Uh, you can start. Alright, first pick. We've got the 90s Prada. I call it the racing jacket because it has those like corduroy stripe on the back with the X. Um, yeah, pretty standard windbreaker, red tab on the sleeve. But the best feature is definitely it's like fully reversible. So doing all that. Depending on how crazy you feeling or how cozy. Obviously a little bit small on me, but rock it both ways. Yeah, furry put on. or yeah, or normal. Pretty far. So my favorite from out of all of these, I picked the Lab Musician tie shirt. Um, super cool piece. For me, it's almost like a two in one because it comes with a tie. You can either wear it with or without it. Looks cool either way. Um, has like nano vibes, the anime, and yeah, very casual or very smart, depending on what your vibes are. Bickenberg's jacket, yeah, like a kind of like again, sort of racing jacket called the getaway jacket because it's like something a getaway driver would wear. Super fine detailing, the suede or leather has been just kind of like really nicely aged. It's got uh, zip sleeves. Fat zip pocket all the way down here, little zip pocket here, and then multiple styling options. So you have this sort of like waistband, which can give you a sort of cinched waist look. You can adjust it to whichever one you want. Um, yeah, the rider collar, front zip. Yeah, just a super nice piece. Really um, 90s vibes. But yeah. Super nice material as well. Yeah. Very nice Very soft. Very soft. Next up, we have the Jobo. We call it the Hippie T just because of the graphics and the color and just the nature of it. Um, super cute and cool piece. I would definitely rock it myself if I fit it. Um, kind of got like baby T vibes. And yeah, super just versatile, genderless piece all around. Something for everyone. Um, yeah. Then you have this Galliano jacket, which is just like super crazy detailed. Bring it closer so you can see like the embroidery. It's got the fur hood with more embroidery on the back. Um, I don't know if you can see that in the white, but yeah, crazy. The hood is removable via these buttons, so you can also just rock the hood by itself, like we have in a photo shoot, which Brandon will put right yeah. here. <laughs> um, yeah, super nice piece, like belt buckle pockets on the front, cinching throughout of the fabric. Um, yeah, neck gaiter, button closure and zip closure. Yeah, just like incredibly detailed, super warm. The back is just super nice with all the piping going down. Yeah, I don't know how it hasn't sold yet, but breaking into the XYZ. I think up here. <laughs> and here, and there. Everywhere. Yeah. Another green piece, Lab Musician, second last one. Um, call it the Spinneret T just because the graphics on it, if you guys can see that. Um, yeah, cool summer piece, very breathable, very thin, but also, you know, you're gonna be dripped out like Spider Man. I don't really know why I said that, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I think like, 
The pattern is crazy if you look close, but if you don't look close, it just looks like a regular pattern tee. So you can kind of dress it up or dress it down. I'll, um, I'll put a fit pic of me up here on the screen for you guys to see. And then we have this comm piece uh, from 2003, the Trico line. Sort of like a chessboard, but it's just like this like sort of like floral pattern knit. If you look close, the knit has like multiple patterns. So you have like the horizontal stripe and then you have, I don't even know what that is. I don't, I don't know the name for that pattern, but it's like different uh, panels. And then you obviously have the floral print. Back is plain, but this one is, yeah, super fire. Definitely one of my favorites. Again, not sure why it hasn't sold. Um, Nick Ward wore, wore this recently for a press shoot that coming out soon. Well, this is all for today. Uh, we'll be doing more of these. Um, Next one, probably on unboxing. We've got pieces on the way, so. Got about like 25, 30 coming. Um, something big is coming too. We're gonna announce that soon. Keep a lookout. Especially if you're in Tokyo, Japan. It's that's the only clue. Anything else to add before we go? <sighs> nah, that's it. Usually I have a good quote loaded up, but I'm all dry right now. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank Peace you for watching. Love. Appreciate it. This is my modeling edition. Yes, sir. We're here for Mr. B R E A K's birthday. Nah, nah. We're here for sushi and anything. We're at the sushi event, but. It's my brother's birthday. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Right, I put in the rose. Yeah. I put in the rose. I'm gonna say birthday. What is that? Damn, bro. Look at this. What is that? I, mean, I just had to. I just had to wear this for my homie here. This guy's next up. This guy's next up. Let me take a photo of the dog to go with the chain.